California cooking today, I'm getting you ready for Christmas and Hanukkah. First, I'm making the most amazing holiday appetizer. It's a cranberry brie pull apart bread. Then I'm cooking up simple crispy potato latkes with homemade applesauce. And finally, Levi and I are personalizing the cutest snowman cookies for Santa. I love this holiday appetizer. One, because it's delicious, and two, because there's only five ingredients. It's my cranberry brie pull-apart bread, and I'm telling you, it won't last long on your holiday table. Take a look. This is the time of year, and even though it's different this year, where people would come over and they'd pop by and you'd have to have something maybe ready to serve as a little snack, Maybe that won't be happening as much this year, but I do think this would be the perfect thing to serve on a cozy night where you just want a little nibble, maybe you have a glass of wine, watch a movie, a Christmas movie. This is brie and cranberry pull-apart bread with some rosemary, and it's all the flavors you want in the holidays. This is so easy because you buy the bread, and this is just a round artisan loaf, and you take a serrated knife, and you don't go all the way down, but you cut almost. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make kind of a crisscross pattern, and you'll see why in a second. But who doesn't love bread and cheese? And maybe instead of like a cheese platter kind of thing, this is all you need, honestly. And now we turn. And then you're gonna go this way almost all the way through, but not quite. And you wanna cut them into bite-sized pieces, okay? I also have the oven preheated. I have the oven at probably 425. And you wanna get this nice and toasted and melt the cheese, okay. So now, because we did that, see what it does? It becomes this accordion. And in between all of those little cuts, you're gonna stick Brie cheese, and you're gonna stuff cranberry sauce, and it's gonna be good. So, and really, I think there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just start doing this, and you take a spoon, and this is just out of the can cranberry sauce, chunky, with the whole cranberries, and you find places to hide. It's like a surprise. Hide it right in there. And I would say as much as you can, as much as you can get in there and fill these little crevices without it falling apart on you. And everybody after Thanksgiving, you always have an extra can of this in the pantry lying around. And if you, honestly, if you don't like cranberries, I think this would be great with like a jam. You could do an apricot jam, a fig jam. Now to the brie. So I'm just going to cut pieces that I can tuck in there. And you want your brie cold because if it gets too soft, it's gonna be tricky. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this is gonna be so delicious. And it, any cheese would work, any, I think, gooey, melty cheese but I just love brie. And I don't even, I'm not even taking the rind off. I'm just gonna keep that on. And sometimes I think around the holidays, it's just nice to have something quick and easy, but festive, right? The, oh, this would be great on a night maybe you're decorating the tree. My goal is, is to get it into every slice, but I don't know. How's it looking? I think we're good. We're not done. Melted butter. To the melted butter, fresh rosemary. And I'm gonna take a stem of rosemary and chop it up, fine chop. And rosemary just smells like a pine tree, so very festive. And it's red, white, and green, which I think is so pretty for the holidays. This kind of hits all the marks, this one, I have to say. Rosemary into our butter. Stir that up. Get a little brush, a pastry brush. And I'm gonna set this guy on a baking sheet. How cute is that? And then we brush. And this is gonna get all brown and toasty. 
The cheese is going to melt. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. And I used probably a quarter of a stick of butter, which is plenty. And we're done. And this is gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna check on it. I don't, I'm gonna say 10 minutes and then we'll see how it's doing. Okay, our bread is done. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Slide it off there. It's crusty. It's ooey, it's gooey. Perfect thing, a little glass of champagne, a Christmas movie. I'm gonna just sneak a piece. And you've got the brie cheese and the cranberry. Mmm! That is the perfect holiday bread. That pull apart bread is the best holiday appetizer. It's so easy, and boy, is it good. Coming up, Levi and I are having our own little holiday cookie party and creating our very own snowman cookies. But first, I'm making potato latkes with a side of homemade applesauce. That's coming up next. You cannot celebrate Hanukkah without a potato latke. And I always looked at them as something intimidating, but they're really easy to make. They're crispy and it's all about the toppings. Either you're into the sour cream or how about my homemade hot sauce? We're making latkes. I am excited about a potato latke because it's potato, my favorite ingredient, and it's fried. And my husband is Jewish, so he, we now as a family, we do celebrate Christmas obviously, but we celebrate Hanukkah too. And Latkes are the crispy potatoes that have the sour cream or applesauce on it. And I made them last year, and my mother-in-law said mine were good. So I thought that was the stamp of approval I needed. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I'm doing my latkes, but first, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna make homemade applesauce. And I think there are two camps, either people that like applesauce on their latke or sour cream. I'm a sour cream girl. But I still love the idea of applesauce when you're serving it for a little get together. So I'm going to, uh, these are honey crisp and keeping the peel on, I'm gonna make a quick applesauce. So take the core out and just a rough chop. This would also be something great to just have in the fridge. You could put it on anything. Pot in the back, I'm gonna put, I would say a tablespoon of butter to get these apples going. Apples go in. Apples go in. All right, get that sauteing until we hear it. And then when I hear things starting to go, I'm gonna also add in some apple juice and let them just cook down until they're mush. And you've got applesauce. While that's going on, let's get are potato latkes. So this is where a food processor will really come in handy because it has the blade so quick. If you don't, you could do it by hand. It's just gonna take some elbow grease. Okay, I peeled my potatoes. Here we go. Look at how easy. One down. See how much faster than messing with a Hand grater. Okay, quarter of an onion. And we're done. Easy, careful with that guy. And now, what you need to do is drain your potatoes. So you take a clean towel. I have a napkin here. I'm gonna dump all that in and give it a really good squeeze. See all that water that comes out? You don't want in your latkes. You won't get the crisp that you want. Take some muscle. Pretty good. Okay, our apples have softened in the butter. I added a tablespoon of sugar. I don't want it to be too sweet. You could add as much sugar as you like. But I'm gonna also pour in enough apple juice just to coat them and then get this boiling. Really, get it, get it cooking to hurry things up. And if you wanted to take your time, you could do a gentle boil, but I'm gonna try to speed it along. Now, in go 
our shredded potatoes. To that, an egg and some flour. I'm gonna do maybe two tablespoons. I did read baking powder was good to put in there, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder, some pepper, and salt. And that's it. I mean, you can always add other things, but this is the simple, easy. We just stir this up, and then we drop them in hot oil. Now, we've got our grapeseed oil. I've got it on a medium heat, and I always wanna make sure my oil is hot. I see the bubbles, I just took a little piece of potato because you don't wanna put cold latkes into cold oil. They'll just be an oily mess. So, I take a tablespoon and just drop them in. And you just keep doing that. And they're, I like when they're kind of free form, right? They're not perfect. And that's what's fun about latkes. And you don't want them too big, maybe a couple of bites. I'm just gonna do four at a time. Okay, here we go, flip. Beautiful. Flip. My latkes are done. They look so good. <laughs> I love how they get spidery like that, where the edges, those little edges get all crispy. And what you can do, if you're making a lot, keep the oven warm, just keep them in the oven. And you could even do it the day before, keep them in the fridge and then heat them up in the oven. But they're best when they're right out of the oil. Now, to our apples. That was probably, the time it took me to make the latkes is the time it basically took for the apples to cook. Tablespoon of sugar is in there, as well as some apple juice. And if you have a stick blender, this is where it would come in handy. I do not. So I'm gonna put these caramelized soft apples into my blender. And there was a little butter in there too, about a tablespoon of butter some juice in there, which I want to get. It smells so good to have these apples cooking on the stove. Just be careful, because it's hot. So you don't want to just start slow. And we've got applesauce. Homemade applesauce. This is so exciting. I've never made homemade applesauce. It was so easy. You cannot screw this up, because trust me, I could screw anything up. I did not realize how easy. Okay, all we do is plate them. I'm gonna scatter these guys around. And of course, like I said, I'm a sour cream girl. So I'm gonna have some sour cream over here. I'm getting excited looking at this. And we've got ourselves a latka party. Voila. I'm in lock of heaven. I got started without you guys, I already ate one. My mother-in-law would be so proud right now if she were to taste these. Okay. Like I said, love sour cream. I'm gonna do both. A little, by the way. That homemade applesauce is divine. Mmm, salty, sweet, cold, warm. I could eat these all day, not just during Hanukkah, all year. Mm. My first time making homemade applesauce and I absolutely loved it. It was so easy and I have to say, sour cream and applesauce together is a winner. Coming up, Santa Claus is coming to town before we know it. So Levi and I are making cookies for him. That's coming up next. Holidays aren't complete without a cookie party, so Levi and I made these adorable snowman cookies just for Santa. Levi! We can't eat that. No, we can't. Do you know what we're gonna make today? <laughs> what? Cookie! For Santa! Mm. <laughs> Santa's watching. He's watching your every move. Are you ready to make cookies? <laughs> okay, mommy decided to cheat a little bit and buy. Cheat? Well, I mean, 
get a little help from the store. I, I, Thumb it. I thought <laughs> instead of making homemade sugar cookies, that I could just go to Ralph's and buy them. Because they Thumb always it. have them in the bakery section. So can I show you how to make a melted snowman? How? Okay, so will you help me? Yeah. Now. It's white now. It's white now. So these candy melts we got at Michael's and they're bright white. Right now. And they're so easy to melt. They're so much easier than white chocolate. So all I did is stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then I stirred it and did another 30 seconds, and now it's beautiful and it looks like snow. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. And it looks like snow. You know what, it might even be easier to just do this. <laughs> and then you show a little of the cookie to look like he melted. Isn't that cool? The other thing we have to do Levi? I remember that 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 show and it the snowman melt. Frosty the snowman. Yes. One of my faves. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Is it The Grinch? Um yeah. That's a good one. I love The Grinch too. I love But that is gone now because it's not Christmas. Well. Still on though. <laughs> We're almost done with our melted snow. <laughs> We've got those, Levi. Now what we're gonna do, look, come here. We have our little, we have our little marshmallows or big marshmallows. This is gonna be the snowman's face. Levi, do you wanna decorate his face? Yes! Here is the tin foil. Parchment. So let's get a few of these marshmallow faces and see what we can do. This is not a face. Look how cool these are. These are edible markers. So, I'm gonna do some eyes and a little mouth. Ooh, black. Yeah. This is black too. I know. I'm gonna try it. I've never used edible markers. We're coloring on our food. <laughs> it's a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. I got a little face and I got some orange because I want to give him a carrot nose. I want to give them a carrot nose. Right? Okay. How did you put it on there? Little carrot. There! He's got his little carrot nose. He's cute. And then look what we do. We go like this. And he looks melted. And then once it dries, we're going to put some other stuff on there. You want to do some more? Yeah. Okay, here's a, here's a pen for you. Now, Levi, I've got these little buttons. But that's not yeah. how snowmen work. They, yeah. His little buttons are all melted off. You know you put little buttons on the snowman. Or you could use M&M's. Little, M &M. Maybe little M&Ms would be. Perfect. If you don't have any kind of exactly. sprinkles. Exactly. If, just in case you didn't have any. But we have an M&Ms though. And you want to do this before it completely melt or dries. Okay. Now. Look at mommy. Yours, look at this. Yours needs a few buttons too. Yours uh, is facing backwards. But that's. No, That's cool. This is friends. Oh, they're friends. Okay. Now, Levi, I'm going to turn it around for a sec and draw arms. Now, Levi, I have the black gel. This is hard. I'm not very good at this, but let's see how I do. Do you know what I'm going to do the black gel? Okay, I'll let you do yours. Okay. Whoop. Do you know what these are? What? And I'm drawing right here. What? His little stick hands. His little stick hands. Cute. You know what? It's all about having fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about fun. Here's your guy. Here's your guy. But, but he needs some friends. He does. So we'll put him back with his friends. This is his. He can see. I don't know how cake decorators have such steady hands. This guy needs buttons. He needs buttons. Santa's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we have two left over. This is Levi's, and this is his friend. What's his name? Fang. Fang? He does look like he has fangs. Do you want to take a bite just to make sure they're good enough for Santa? But then Santa can eat the water. No, we have Santa's here. Look, we even drew him a little note. Santa's all good to go. Let's try. Mm -hmm. They taste like melted snowmen. Love you. Mwah. You got to go to bed early when Santa comes. Is Santa really going to come? <laughs> yes, of course. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Nice. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell him. I think Santa is gonna be really happy with those snowman cookies and I may have snuck just one. All right, that does it for us. We'll see you guys next week. Mine is already ready to eat. Okay. Is it ready to eat? Right. You already ate a cookie. We haven't even started. Your lips are black. But okay. Mine was ready to eat. I'm not gonna eat dessert for a full year. You're not gonna eat dessert for a whole year? Yeah. <laughs> And it's a razor blade, blade, blade print in it. A razor blade? <laughs> Santa. Well, you are a really cute Santa. Look at your apron. Santa can't call anybody. He probably has a cell phone, do you think? But we don't have a chimney. So what does he do? He has a magic key. Ah, Remember? magic key. But did you make him a note and send him what you want for Christmas? Um, I didn't send him a note. Uh-oh. Well. I need to give him a note. Mine is already ready to eat. Okay. Is it ready to eat? Hi.